Hi guys, this is a quick video to explain to you the difference between the different accessories that we are selling with the travel sacks. Um, these are extra accessories that you can get with your travel sacks. And we have been recently getting lots of questions regarding um, what do they, what what are they uh, for, and if the, and if they should uh, be buying it or not. So let me explain you the, the difference between the three and uh, what what should I recommend uh, each one for. So first of all, uh, if you have the first version or the second version of the travel sacks, both of them will be working with the three uh, accessories. So no worries about that. Um, the first one, this is the, the extensor. This is really useful in case you are practicing with your travel sacks for a long time. Um, if you're not using the extensor, you, you're just using the normal mouthpiece, right? The, the distance, right? The, the posture will be a bit, um, uh, let's say, not really natural, right? You will have your arms quite, um, quite close. So in case you are um, practicing for a long time, either I recommend you to use a table to uh, get a bit of, uh, get your arms a bit more relaxed because they can be um, on top of, of the table, right? And if not, it's, it's a great tool to use the extensor, okay? This will allow you to have a bit more distance when playing your trial sacks like this and it's gonna be a bit more uh, it's you will get a, an, a more relaxed posture when playing so for long um, rehearsing with the trial sacks re long rehearsals I would recommend the extensor on top of that you can also use the curved neck which is this one and this you can use it on top of the extensor or uh, just on the on the first or just on the on the neck of the of the travel sex. So this will give you a slight angle, just like your alto or tenor saxophone, right? Still, you will get a bit more um, distance. And it's gonna be a bit more relaxed, right? And a normal, uh, a better position for for long rehearsal, rehearsals. And finally, we also have designed special mouthpiece for those of you that are professional players that uh, want to use the travel sacks as a MIDI controller. Uh, this special mouthpiece will allow you to have a bit more control when uh, doing staccatos, um, basically it will uh, help you on your articulation because uh, there are, it, it has two small holes, right? So it's re really easy to tongue um, because if we compare it to a normal mouthpiece in the, in, in the, in MIDI controllers, in wind MIDI controllers, you have a um, pressure sensor right, which it, when it gets a bit of air, it turns on uh, the, 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 o, the, not, the note on, right, so then you get noise or sound in this case. So if you are um, just getting a bit of air between the reed and the mouthpiece, you will be um, applying a bit of pressure onto the pressure sensor, right, and then it, it, you will get the, the note. So if, in case you want to do uh, fast staccatos, it's a bit difficult to do it with a normal mouthpiece, right? That's why we have designed this special mouthpiece. So this is a great tool for professional saxophone players or people that just wanna have a really um, durable mouthpiece. This mouthpiece is completely plastic, so you don't have a, a read to maintain 
So in this case, um, in case, for example, this one, it's broken. This, this read is broken. So this is much more durable, really easy to clean and maintain. So that's also a, a good option if you want to, uh, to just play um, fingerings, uh, fingering techniques without the need of using a standard saxophone mouthpiece. All of them, as I said, are, are working, are com combinable with the, first gener uh, with the first generation and the second generation. Both of them work. Let me show you. Both. For both Travel Sax 1 and Travel Sax 2, all of them work. Let me show you. Are also we can also use them. So that's it. Hopefully, I've answered your questions. If you have any further questions related to the accessories, please uh, ask them in the in the comments below. And if you have any questions or ideas that that you would like to have uh, accessories based uh, with your Travel Sax One or Travel Sax Two. Let, let us know and, and we will, we will uh, try and, and design them for you. And yeah, that's it. Thank you very much. Bye.